All right, welcome. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to access a 100% free content optimizer that is an alternative to popular tools like Phrase or even Surfer SEO. If you're not familiar with what these tools are, they optimize your content by going in and analyzing in the search results, the top results, let's say, for example, the top 10, and look at the common keywords, phrases, and so forth that are included amongst the most uh, highly ranked content so that you can take or extract that information and optimize your content to better rank. So the problem is with some of these uh, softwares, they are really good. I use S Surfer SEO, I love it, but it has a price tag associated to it. And a lot of people are oftentimes looking for free alternatives. And uh, Originality AI just came out with this one, which is their free version of this. And of course, I'll include a link to this below, but I wanna show you real quick the power of this free tool. So what you can do here is enter in whatever URL that you want to rank. So if you have a blog post or an article or a page that you wanna rank better for amongst the top uh, ranking results, what you wanna do is enter it right here in this box and also what the primary search phrase is. So that's the primary keyword that you want. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here where it says enter competitor URLs. You can put a list of up to 10 URLs in that box that it is gonna go and search through to get that data. So you can see here that what I did is I put in here how to write emails for outreach and I just put the first URL in there. That is not my website, but I'm just using it as an example. So what we wanna do is we wanna go in there and grab some of those URLs as competitors and we wanna separate them by comma. So we can grab these guys and go through here. And I'm just gonna do three just for time purposes here. So I'm gonna stick that in there. And then what we do is we go down here and it says include headings when checking the URLs. We definitely wanna include the headings as well. So we're gonna click submit. And this thing is pretty fast. So it's only gonna take usually a couple seconds, which it's already popped up. And you're gonna see this page right here. Now on this page, there's some scoring information here. Gonna to have to take a little bit more digging to actually go through that and find out the meaning. But this is the part that is actually important. So if you go down here, we see the word count that was entered as well. And we're seeing a rating system essentially of all of the top keywords or phrases that are included in those top competitor URLs, these other three URLs, and it's comparing it against the primary URL that I had entered. So there is going to be some differences here in the amount of keywords that are using and the intervals at which they're being used. So we have a couple of things that we can do with this information here. So we could scroll down here and we can download all of that information in a CSV file and then edit it and do other things with it. Or what we can do is we can actually show keyword highlighting. So we can actually click this it's gonna open up a box to the original article that was posted, and it's gonna highlight the top five, uh, essentially, keywords and their frequency throughout the article. So if you wanted to use this content right here and then edit it, and then what you could do is essentially resubmit it again and then see the scores change. The other option, which is far more interesting in my opinion, and for speed, is you can export a GPT prompt. So what you can do is actually click on this and it is gonna copy the prompt to the clipboard. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to ChatGPT and you're just going to paste it in. Now what it has done, if we scroll all the way up here, is entered in a prompt that says, please expand on the following article by creating three new paragraphs, each containing at least three sentences and including the following keywords. So what it has done, it has taken that content, that information that was in the table, and it has put it in here with a prompt and it has included the original article text. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna add content as it, it says here, three new paragraphs containing at least three sentences each to get those new key terms in there. So the one thing you need to know is that when you go down here, it has copied some extra stuff in here that we don't want from the website. So what we need to do is we need to scroll down through there and you can see it ends right about here and some information about the website, share this article. So you gotta go through there and you gotta get rid of that, okay? But then we're ready to go and we can hit go. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna expand upon the article. So there you go. So now we have three new articles that are including some of those key phrases. And what we can do is go back over there and actually enter it into 
this, and I'm not going to go through cleaning all of that up. So I'm just going to stick this in here, and we'll have to re-submit uh, it. Okay, I think we could just do that again, can't we? And that way it is going to update our content, okay? And then we just have to basically go and paste that in on the website and get better content scores. So it really can't get any easier than that, okay? So you've got this free tool here, Content Optimizer. Thanks a lot to originality.ai for supplying that. Uh, so go ahead and check this tool out. And of course, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Comment below, of course, let me know how you do with the uh, tool, if you think it's useful for you or not, and if you'd like to see more of these types of tools. So thanks for watching.